Good morning. My name is Glenn Sutton. I'm just so excited this morning that you have opportunity to tune in. But I have something that I know I need to do. So when my mind's on, guess what? I do it. Sometimes when your mind talks, at that point, you should jump on it. And my friend, let me take my jacket off. Can, can I do that, y'all? Because I want to be real. You know what I'm saying? I want to get loose and be real. But today, I've, I do a Stop Bullying production. And I do a motivational production. I do all this stuff here. But there are times in my life where I have to invest in my family. That's what I do. Now, I speak all over the world. I speak all over the world. But sometimes, by speaking all over the world, sometimes charity starts where? At home. And there are three people in my life that's on this earth that's not just dear to me, that it's important they, they really makes me the man who I am. First, I want to talk to you about three people. That's my son, my daughter, and my lovely wife. First, my son, he is a college student in, North Carolina, in, in a North Carolina school. And I want to say drama, Sutton, this is first year, I want to say I'm so proud of you, man. Man, you have done, you are a role model to other people. And I know when you were growing up, you might have thought your dad was tough on you. The reason why, because I understand that this world out here, man, it is, it's more than, it's, it's savage. And I know I had, by God, to prepare you for that, man. And you have withstood the storm. You have listened. Now, all my direction, no, you have, but you have listened to me in reference to uh, trying to navigate through this life. And that's why you are in the position that you're in now. And so I want to thank you for, for allowing me to speak into your life. Because sometimes the relationship between a child and a parent, it could be, it could be bad. But I'm glad that our relationship is good. And that now that now you become now you are a young man. You eight over 18. You be 19 this year. And I'm so proud of you, man. And the thing that I'm gonna say later on, the thing that I want to talk to you about now is your goals. Here's the thing is, I want you to place your goals on your college wall, just five of them. Five goals that you want to accomplish. Now, if you don't write them down, usually it's not going to happen. I know you and I talked about a few days ago, but I want you to write them down. And I want to add one goal to that goal. One goal, I want you to have self-development. I mean, I want you to read something or do some, or listen to some kind of motivation thing almost at least three times a week. And also, I want you to make sure that you uh, stay with your health program. Because if you don't feel good, guess what? You're probably going to do good. And you have done this over the years. I'm so proud of you, man. Because people are watching you. I'm watching you. And I want you just to put that in your mind that you have to do this. Why? Because other people that's behind you that's watching you. Stay Shauna. You are my only daughter. You are an RN nurse. You finished at East Carolina University. God has blessed you. You have been to places that people would probably dream about. And I am so proud of you, man. I know you're stingy, but, <laughs> but I am so proud of you. So I just want you to do what is best. And you have done. I know by growing up, you probably thought your mom and dad was tough and, and strict. But look where you're at now. Got your own place, own car. Look where how God has blessed you. So you keep doing, keep God first. And I'm saying to you, write down five goals. Now I want to add one to them. One is your health. And the second one is self-development. You got to feed your mind, babe. I know you're smart, but you got to feed your mind. And if you do that, there's no limitation that you can accomplish. My wife, A, I know over the years, 26 27, 26, one of those <laughs> 27 years, I know that it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to be married to Glenn Sutton. Glenn Sutton is a strange man, but he means well. He means well, and I wanted to thank you for trusting me, believing in me, even when I didn't really believe in myself. You was the one that told me that I, could, <laughs> I can't do it, and I can't do it. I can't do it was my protection. And there's some things I can't do. And you was able to tell me that up front so I won't make a fool of myself. I want to thank you. And also I want to say thank you for being a role model to our kids. I'm telling you, you have been, uh, man, 
even when I, and this this off the record, and I should be saying this, even when I used to watch you, I'm going to you, I watch you, and I watch you, how you take care of the kids. And I this what I, I, I never told you this, but I'm going to tell you now. When I watch you take care of our two kids, I say, oh, my God, I wish she was my mom. Not not because you spoiled, because you, you, um, you led them right. You led them right in the ways of the Lord. You did. I'm serious. I, I watch you. Even when you were sick, tired, you're always concerned about, you know, what they're going to eat. And I'm, me, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> we eat bologna sandwich. And, but you, you was more caring and more about their welfare. So I want to salute you uh, in reference to what all you've done for this family. And, and I don't know why I should say this. The success of Glenn Sutton was really because of you. No, we understand that the God God had placed you in my life to be a really help me, help meet for me. Because sometimes Glenn Sutton be having these wild dreams. And you never, you, not one time you never say it was wild. You always listen to me. Now, you, you agree with what I said, but I want to just thank you, baby. You have, um, and I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say this. This woman here, I'm going to tell you she did. This woman here invested in me, not just in love, not, but in tangible stuff. She even uh, invested me in her life savings so I can do what I do. And I promise you now, this in front of all these people that's going to watch this video, that the thing that you gave out to me for a dream that even I, I had issues with now, it's going to come back to you. It's going to change other people's lives. And I know there's a, there was a risk, but you took the risk for me. And look where I am, the man I am. The man I am now is because of you. So I just want to say to all of y'all, with your dreams and aspirations, if you do that, the sky is the limit. It is Glenn Love all three of y'all.